The world's best amusement park was about to come to fruition. Plans for one of the most insane parks the world has ever seen had already begun. The park would finally open and after half a century of work, it would finally be complete. Already one of the best parks in the United States, this park was getting ready to unleash the last bit of their plan. A plan that if followed could have propelled this park to the number one amusement park in the entire world. An amusement park where tourists would come from around the world and spend days at the resort. But not because the park had good theming like a Disney park, rather because the mountain can experience as such a huge park is just absolutely crazy. The resort would feature the one best rides and roller coaster lineups in the world, with a park stacked with some of the most thrilling machines in existence. The resort will also feature a beautiful on-site hotel alongside a beautiful lake. Another thing the resort will offer will be an awesome water park filled to the brim with several unique attractions. And last but not least, the resort will feature a giant animal zoo exhibit featuring loads of animals from across the globe. Not only that, but just a three minute drive away from this insane resort, another crazy resort will be about to open. A resort that would excel in every area the first resort lacked, and though it may draw in some competition, it would help bring in the craziest influx of crowds the world has ever seen. So do you want to know what happened to the massive plans for the world's best amusement park? Selim Basul happened, and it seems like he may have just ripped up all these awesome plans in favor of something a lot worse. Before I jump to conclusions and throw Selim under the bus, we have to understand what's really going on here. Selim Basul is the current CEO of Six Flags and he's been getting a lot of backlash recently. You're probably wondering what the CEO of Six Flags has to do with the world's best theme park. Cause the world's best theme park definitely isn't a Six Flags park. Well, actually, it is a Six Flags Park. Six Flags Great Adventure originally started as the vision of entrepreneur Warner Leroy. Warner wanted to build a massive insane resort called Great Adventure and his original plans for the resort would have been awesome if they actually happened. Warner originally planned to build seven parks including an amusement park, a water park, a safari park, a show park, a floral park, a shopping district, and a sports complex. Warner had really big plans for the park but only some of them would come to fruition in the coming years. While Warner's original plan was to create seven massive parks, Great Adventure instead ended up with three major attractions, a water park, a safari, and of course the giant amusement park which encompassed many smaller versions of things Warner had planned. There are areas in Six Flags Great Adventures today that feature small names or references to some of the other concept parks he had wanted to build. Warner ended up selling the park to Six Flags in 1978 and they would go on to flood the park with coasters over the next bunch of years. Between 1978 and 1999, the park opened 15 new coasters, most of which are no longer around today. Six Flags really cared for this park and ended up working it all the way to the point where they installed the world's tallest coaster at the park in 2005, with King Naka following that up in 2006 with the world's best coaster at the time, El Toro. At the time, the chain was already in a major financial struggle and after the craziness of 2008 and the chain filing for bankruptcy in 2011, a new era would emerge for the Six Flags chain. Six Flags would become the discount chain. From 2010 to 2019, Six Flags was led by Jim Reed Anderson, who ran the parks very differently. Every park would get a new investment every year, but most of them weren't anything special. The parks would continue to get filled with advertisements and the low prices would bring in crazy lines. Cedar Fair had figured it out and everyone was looking to Six Flags hoping for some sort of change with the coming CEO change. 2019 brought Mike Spanos, who was definitely much better. He handled the whole COVID situation pretty well and the chain began to invest more in coasters at some of their parks. B&M was finally back on the table, but all would change in 2021. Out of the blue, Six Flags dropped Mike Spanos and brought in Salim Basul as a new CEO. Salim started off making some needed changes like improving food options and the overall park atmosphere. Six Flags Great Adventure was one of the parks that got a lot of 2022 investment. A retheme of Bizarro back to Medusa, a bunch of new food options and redone areas of the park some new single rider lines and an added summer festival. These changes would come with a price and in the beginning it would seem worth it. 
But then came summer 2022. Today, Six Flags seems to be continuously raising their prices and have no plans in adding new rides anytime soon. Attendance and revenue have been on the decline at so many of the Six Flags parks, despite the fact that most other amusement parks are booming, some even having their best years in history. Six Flags Great Adventure had big plans for the 50th anniversary in 2024. The park already got some major improvements for 2022, including repaints on some of their old coasters, and most likely, the park will be repainting a few more of their older coasters like Nitro for the 2023 season. For 2024, the park was rumored to be opening a giant B&M Giga Coaster, a coaster that would be one of the greatest in the world and the most unique Giga Coaster to ever be built on the planet. Now keep in mind, this isn't verified information. I've heard a lot of people that work at the park back up the things I'm talking about, but in no way is this fact, and this could all be totally untrue. Now let's just look at why Six Flags Great Adventures would want to open a giant B&M Giga. Well, for starters, the park needs another capacity monster to help balance out the crowds and B&M Gigas are definitely the way to go when it comes to capacity. Another reason a B&M Giga would make sense is because the park hasn't gotten a major and unique coaster that wasn't cloned since 2006, and that's way too long for such a major park. A B&M Giga will also allow Six Flags Great Adventure to bring new life to one of the areas of the park that needed it. The main reason a B&M Giga would make sense though is because of the timing. The park's 50th anniversary is the perfect time to build an insane and awesome expensive coaster. But the timing is even better than that. Six Flags Great Adventure has been in fierce competition with Hershey Park always. And with Hershey Park most recently opening B&M Hyper, and now preparing to open an RMC it all makes so much sense. Six Flags Great Adventure also just opened an RMC and if they would then go and open a massive B&M Giga Coaster that would be so much better than Hershey's Candymonium, it would give Great Adventure another point in the two parks ongoing battle. There's another reason a B&M Giga would make perfect sense for 2024 and that is because of something happening in New Jersey just 3 minutes away from Six Flags Great Adventure. Adventure Crossings USA is a massive resort that's opening soon just a 3 minute drive from Great Adventure. The project costs well over half a billion dollars to develop and includes some amazing hotels, a sports complex, indoor rock climbing, arcades, laser tag, golf, a surf park and so much more. If Six Flags Great Adventure were to open a massive B&M Giga, then chances are a lot of the people taking a trip to this new crazy resort will want to spend a day or two, three minutes away at one of the best amusement parks in the country. I mean, if you're on vacation and a Fury 325 is opening next door, you kind of can't pass up the opportunity to pay the park a visit. Six Flags Great Adventure would have the perfect opportunity to get an insane attendance boost from their competition since they literally offer three major things the new resort doesn't offer. A safari, a water park, and an awesome amusement park. While Six Flags Great Adventure may not be the world's best amusement park, if you add Fury 325 to their lineup, it already starts getting close. And on top of that, all the new park improvements Great Adventure has been seeing and their awesome water park and safari and they definitely be one of the top parks to visit in the country. Then when you also add in a giant beautiful new resort next door, you literally make for one of the best vacation spots in all of the world. So what happened to this B&M Giga plan for Six Flags Great Adventure? Six Flags Great Adventure was rumored to be in the final stages of purchasing a B&M Giga set to be almost as tall as Fury that would feature a very unique two across seating. So what happened to this coaster? Well, it seems Salim Masul is to blame for that. He's expressed many times that he doesn't think his parks need more rides right now and has no plans in spending money to add new ones in the near future. For what it seems, Salim looks to have fired Great Adventures Park President and cancel all ongoing plans with B&M for a new 2024 coaster. I want to give Salim the benefit of the doubt though, and maybe he's only scaling back on rides in the short term in order to scale up spending in some of the other areas of Six Flags Parks need improvement. But all I have to say 
is this. Salim, if you're watching this video, please give us more clarity on how you plan to deal with the future of the Six Flags chain. Adding new events and food options isn't going to cut it in the long term. So if you do plan on going back to opening major coasters, please be clear about it. I want to see your plan and will be happy to wait patiently if you're going to fix up the Six Flags chain once and for all. But when you come out and say things like you don't think any of the parks need new rides anytime soon, it makes us all think you have no idea what you're doing. Six Flags Great Adventure is physically the second largest amusement park in the world and has some of the largest population centers around it. With this new massive resort coming right next door and their 50th anniversary on the horizon, there's never been a better time for them to open a massive B&M Giga Coaster. Salim Basul has said he wants to bring Six Flags up to the level of Disney and Universal and I have no problem with that. But if that's the case, then open the massive B&M Giga and spend an extra $100 million theming it at the Lassa Coaster's level. Or even better, open the world's most expensive coaster like Universal did with Hagrid's before they were beat out by Disney's Cosmic Rewind costing half a billion dollars. Six Flags Great Adventure is literally at a point where a B&M Giga can change the course of its future a ton. It could mean the difference of becoming the next Cedar Point or Universal or the next Six Flags Ohio. So please Six Flags, show Great Adventure and all the other Six Flags parks what they deserve and get back to opening insane record breaking coasters once again. The record breakers are gonna keep opening and if Six Flags isn't the one to do it, it will be done by someone else. Like the world's best coaster which is about to open, but it's not at a park that you think.